hi friends welcome once again to my channel to all my returning subscribers thank you so much to my new viewers this is Adeze Explores in this channel I share opportunities how to apply their benefits and how to stand out in these applications you know the most important thing in any application is to be selected for that program if this is what you want, stick around on this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so to be notified whenever I post a new video. In today's video, I'm bringing another opportunity in Australia. If you have not checked out my video on the university-wide scholarship for international applicants at the University of South Australia, do well to check out that video after this one. One thing about scholarships is apply to as many as possible if you are being successful in more than one scholarship you are now the boss you are now the one to choose the one you're going for so there is need for you to apply to as many as possible we'll be looking at australian awards scholarship sponsored by the Australian government under the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. This scholarship aims at training the next generation leaders. From the aim of this scholarship, you will know that your leadership skills is very important in this scholarship. Now let's go to the benefits of this scholarship. The first is full tuition fees. Your school fees are being waived. The next is return air travel. That means the flight to go to Australia and to come back to your home country are being provided by this scholarship. Also, you have establishment allowance, which will help you to settle in in Australia. This includes your accommodation expenses, your textbooks and study materials, and contribution to living expenses. This is more like a stipend to help offset your living expenses. The next one is introductory academic program. This is more like a program to help you to fit in into the society, which include living and studying in Australia. This is more like a training. And then overseas, student overseas student health cover that means your insurance is being covered by this scholarship and also precause this is not necessary and supplementary academic support may be available you'll be supported to ensure you'll be supported to ensure academic success and a good um, academic experience and then field work or your field trips throughout your program will be covered by this scholarship this is an interesting one. Very juicy. It's a very nice scholarship. Then the next one is award conditions. This one is when you are being selected. This is the contract you need to sign when you are being selected. So at this stage, it's not necessary. Now let's go to how to apply. For how to apply, you see that this scholarship is divided into different sections. First is the participating countries. Here you will find the different participating countries and the different degrees sponsored because some countries have masters sponsored while some is only PhD, while some both undergraduate and PhD. In this video, we'll be looking more at that of Africa. For you to know the participating countries, you click on this link, it will open this page. On this page, you will find the list of countries being sponsored for this scholarship asia pacific middle east then africa for africa you, you click on this place is a clickable link when you click it this page will open so on this page you will see different countries that has been sponsored in africa which include algeria Botswana, the drc egypt ethiopia gabon ghana kenya nigeria is also here rwanda senegal and so on and so forth and here you will see the opening date which is first of february and here is first march you have four months to apply for this scholarship for any questions or inquiry you can send an email to this email address here and then here these are other countries too the next one is the participating institutions. For the participating institutions, these are institutions in Australia where you can study. Therefore, for you to choose any course, you need to know the institutions that are being covered by this scholarship. So for you to know this institution, you click on this 
place this page will open where you will see the participating institutions on this page you will see two links this one is for pdf and word documents these documents are the same it's just different format this one is pdf and this one is Word. so for the pdf i will click here because i prefer to use pdf when you click on it this page will open here you will see the different universities in australia that are being covered by this scholarship now let's go to the africa awards intake information here you will find more details about africa countries and what and what you need to do in the application on this page you will see that there are also the same thing pdf and word document when you click here the pdf document will open where you will see more details about africa and you see here that australian Australia's International Development Assistance in Africa is focused on enhancing skills in the areas of agriculture and food security, climate change and adaptation, renewable energy, mining governance and countering terrorism and violent extremism. This means that any course you're going for should be aligned with this tier requirements. Your course should be related to agriculture or food security or climate change and so forth as listed here. The next one is applicants are being assessed on their professional and personal qualities. These professional qualities include your work experience and your previous studies like the former things you have done and your personality, your academic competence, your most imp most importantly, their potential to impact on development challenges in eligible countries. So you see, so there is need for you to make impact more like a leader. That's why I said your leadership skills is very important while applying for this scholarship. As we have stated before, these are the courses your the courses you apply for should align with this. And here you find out that Africans are only sponsored for master's degree. And this scholarship will start in 2024. That's why you're applying this year to travel next year. The next we're going to look at is Australia Awards Scholarships policy handbook here you will find the different policies of this scholarship if you here you will also see the same pdf and word document i will click on the pdf so this is the policy handbook the this was updated in january 2022 this was the last update. Don't look at the date. What you need is the information in it. Those, what it simply means is that the information has not changed since last year. It's still the same information. When you come to the table of contents, you will see different things you can read about this scholarship. In this video, I will just go through the critical things you need and then later on, you go through it yourself for more information. Then here, the first thing I want to talk about in that handbook is the application process. You will see that your application will be done on the OASIS website. Then the documents you need for this scholarship include your certified copy of original format degree, graduation certificate, that's your degree certificate. If, if it's not in English, if your degree certificate is not in English, then you have to provide a certified translation of the degree. Also, you need a certified copy of original formal academic transcript, your academic transcript, the certified one, a certified copy of citizenship document, that means your international passport, you certify it, a certified copy of original birth certificate, if not in English, and then a curriculum vitae, then referee reports, that means you need referees. For this scholarship, you need at least one academic referee report and at least one other referee report, maybe your work supervisor. But if you are going for a research-based master's or PhD, you need two academic referees. And here you need a certified copy of your English test. One good thing about this scholarship is if you are being taught in English, you don't need to write this English language test is being waived if you are being taught in English. That's good news. This is it for the documents for application. Note, in this place, it is written a certified copy. What it means is that you take the original copies of your certificates, make colored photocopies of them, take it to the high court, to any court in your area, so that it will be certified. The people will stamp on the uh, colored printout that this is the original copy of this 
certificate do you understand so there is need for you to do this all your documents must be certified and if you go through this page if you read more you will see their requirements what and what they need in the certified copies the stamp and the names of people that needs to sign and stamp these documents then the next one is you will see here that the master's degree is for two years so any program you're going for it should last for two years like the next one is now the different ways to apply for the application you can apply online or by mail but i would advise you to apply by online because applying by mail means you need to mail your documents physically to them you start to, uh, processing dhl and all those things so the best method for you is applying online for applying online all you need to do is to click on this clickable link it will open the oasis website for you which is here so this is what it will look like when you click on that link and here you will see different things so for you to start up your application you click on this place log on slash register when you click there this page will open so as you are a new applicant all you do to do is to register new account you register your account and then you continue this is for those that want to continue with the application because the application you must not finish it at once if you do the few you can do you close the application when next you log in and continue your applications here also you will see application users guide if you click here, it, it will open this page for you where you will see a guide which will help you through the application process. The PDF document of this guide. Here you will see different information. It's clearly written with screenshots of different cases of the application. In this handout, I'll be looking at the different essays you need to write. But this essay should not exceed 2000 characters. These characters include letters, spaces, and punctuation marks. So make sure you count everything to stay within this limit. And here you will see that any characters which exceed the limit will not be visible. So instead of having more, just remove some parts so that your essays will be visible to the selection panel. Here, you will find the first essay is how did you choose your proposed course and institution it's more like an essay why did you select this school how does it align with your previous study and your motivation for applying to this school and not the other institution and why you applied for this course and not the other course so this is basically what you're going to write here and then here you will see how will the proposed study contribute to your career this is now like the future after your studies how will it contribute to your career so you now state why you chose this course how it will help you in your career development maybe your short-term goal and all those stuff then here how have you contributed to solving a challenge this is more like a leadership essay where you will state what you have done previously and what aspects of your leadership knowledge skills and practice you consider to be well established and effective so this is basically what you write how you have impacted and how you have worked the principles that work for you and what you have achieved all those stuff that's what you write here but make sure it doesn't exceed 2000 characters Give up to three practical examples of how you intend to use the knowledge and skills and connections you will gain from your scholarship. Possible tasks can be personal or professional. So here you are going to state what you are going to achieve after your studies, the things you are going to do, and also they see the point B that you will state your constraints, your limitations to achieving these um, goals or these examples you listed here. So this is basically how you go on with these applications if you want more clarification about these essays you can write to me i will reply to all your comments anywhere you find any issue just drop a comment i'll always reply to your comments and that is it for it if you want to know more about where to find the word count limit how to count it on microsoft Word, you can tell me i can show you how to do that so this is it for this scholarship i hope this video was helpful Please subscribe, like, comment on this video and share it with your friends. This will help my channel to grow and reach a wider audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in my next video by God's grace. Bye.